We're in Kalara, New South Wales today, reporting on a historic issue. The local community have gathered outside the locked doors of Marion Street Theatre to express their frustration at the Karingai Council, who put one of Australia's longest-running children's theatres out of its home. In December 2013, the Marion Street Theatre for Young People was evicted without notice from the building it has called home for 45 years. What do you think about the Council's plan to turn Marion Street Theatre into a commercial space, putting the children's theatre out in the cold? I think it's absolutely appalling um, and it would be a gross negligence on Council's part to not stop while they still have the opportunity to save something so very special. I think it would be a real tragedy um, because we've been here for 45 years, we've been contributing to the community and we put a lot of work into it. Seriously, can't Marion Street Theatre remain as the resident theatre company as well as sharing it with other groups? I don't think they get that without being in residence, Marion Street no longer provides a lot of things that it currently uh, does. There's no problem with commercial theatres, that's absolutely fine and encourage in actual fact. However, we need a theatre in residence to be able to support the community and provide a really safe, nurturing training facility for young artists. There is nothing like this on offer. They want to leave behind a legacy um, that kind of takes the money and runs or they want to leave a legacy of an institution, a healthy institution. We're not just talking young people, we're talking stage managers, choreographers, technical crew. All these people have come out of training here at this institution and it's important to have an institution that can stay in residence. Marion Street Theatre provides an incredible opportunity for people with disabilities who are wanting to um, explore um, their passion to become a performing artist. But the training that they get here is invaluable and there is nothing like this. It is a safe, nurturing environment it would be so sad that to think that this council didn't value what a treasure they had in the Marion Street Theatre for Young People. Very sad. These concerned citizens and MSTYP supporters have gathered to hear from an iconic Australian who has performed with many of the young people here. It seems like something's happening. It's Albert the Magic Pudding. The crowd's loving it. Hello Australians, g'day there. My name is Albert, and in just in case you don't know, I'm the most famous puddin' in all the world. Now I'm here to announce some terrible news. Me favourite children's theatre company, Marion Street Theatre for Young People, has been chucked out of their treehouse here by the Kuringai Council and forced to wander around the bush in search of a new home. Have they all gone stark raving mad? Oh, Everyone needs a home. Oh. What sort of a bung foodling mess is this? This here has been Marion Street Theatre for Young People's Home for 45 years. It's the only place like it in Australia. Whew. It's a cut and come again pudding. Like me? <laughs> the more you eat, the more you get. What sort of a half-baked nincompoop had stopped supporting a children's theatre? Now... Yous all probably want to go down and throw carrots and cabbages and peas at this here Kooringai Council. Yeah! Well, don't. I've been told by sensible people that the thing to do is to write nice letters and send polite emails. Whatever they are. Oh, and put messages on Facebook. Whatever that is. But whatever, support Marion Street Theatre for young people. What do we want? A home! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? A home! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? A home! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? A home! When do we want it? Now! Australia, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm here with Margie McRae, Artistic Director for Marion Street Theatre for Young People. Margie, why does Marion Street Theatre for Young People need a permanent home? Well, Marion Street Theatre was our permanent home. We were the resident company for 45 years. It's the only way this marvellous youth company can work in this uh, community. The council claims they're allowing you back in the theatre, but you'll have to share it with the wider community. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is they're offering us two weeks in the school holidays for our performances, and that's great, but it is not the full extent of what we do. We have a massive drama school. We do theatre for young people with a disability, we do all these programs that are so advantageous to the community and we can't do them without being the resident company in the theatre. We think that maybe they just don't get it at this point and we need to sit down with them and discuss it and inform them 
and explain it to them. As you can see, there is a lot of passion being expressed outside these locked theatre doors. One thing is clear, if Marion Street Theatre for Young People is to continue its 45-year tradition in this community, then Karingai Council must return to the negotiating table and find a way to keep this Kalara icon going. Australia, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you!